Hi guys, so today we are talking all about loungewear or clothing to wear at home and the lines that you could focus on based on your body geometry type. So if you are completely new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, body geometry is a body typing system that is based solely on your bone structure or primarily on your bone structure because it is the bone structure that's going to determine how your flesh and your figure and your facial features lay on your body and ultimately how the clothes Clothing will fall on your body. So this is a body typing system that's really based on bone structure, both your facial bone structure as well as your skeletal bone structure. So let's take a look at the five types of bone structure. Really there are three main types of bone structure and then the other two are blends or mixtures of the other three. So here we have rounded short bones with rounded angles. Here we have sharpened long bones with sharp angles and here we have beveled. Beveled has long bones with a little bit of width and the angles are also they have width to them so they're beveled or blunted angles and finally we have the two ways to combine these three types so we have blended and they are in the middle you know they don't have necessarily rounded and short bones but they don't have wide bones or long bones or, or anything like that it's all in the middle and we have mixed which is a combination of you know, something from here and, and something from here, right? So that's mixed. But let's get into the line recommendations for each type. Again, these are not necessarily outfit recommendations. They are more, they are more the lines that you could be trying to look out for. And I'm gonna try to explain also what it is about that outfit that makes it work for that bone structure type. So let's get into the recommendations. So you can see this is a rounded bone structure type. We have short lines and we have rounded rounded lines basically and so for her for someone with her bone structure she would look really nice with some shorter lines some fittedness because she has shorter bones so wearing anything oversized anything slouchy is not a good idea at all i would say that wearing something that has a little bit of space to it to sort of create you know you can see here how it kind of creates a little bit of almost like draping here because it's a tiny it has a tiny bit of space you know it's not skin tight but at the same time it fits well at the waist and you don't have to show your waist of course like she is here you know you could tie it a little bit lower you could tuck this into your pants um, but either way, you know, waist emphasis is really important for the rounded type. And we also have fittedness at the cuffs, which is really important, and fittedness at the ankles or hemline. Any hemline that you have, you know, if you're wearing a, a skirt, then maybe more of a, a tulip shape or a pencil skirt or something like that. Everything fitting at the fitting at the edges, basically, fitting at the hemlines is, is really good, but at the same time maintaining that softness. So, you know, we don't have anything skin tight, right? It's more soft, round, and, and short because the bones are short. And for the hair, I chose something easy, just a soft, low bun. It is something for the rounded type to look out for. You are not really gonna look that harmonious in a tousled hair kind of look. So tousled hair is going to look really heavy on you, really messy, and not necessarily that kind of chic feel. You know, you never see Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe is a rounded type, and you know, she if she wears tousled hair, if she were to wear tousled hair, that wouldn't really work for her mostly because she has those small bones, those short bones, so if she wears tousled hair, then it's just completely different from the lines of tousled hair, completely different from the lines of the rounded type. So we're talking about a soft, you know, a very soft kind of loose bun, but not, not too tousled or anything like that, and that would be really good to complete your look. Next up we have sharpened. So sharpened is basically the opposite of rounded. So rounded had short bones, sharpened has long bones, rounded has rounded angles, sharpened has sharp angles. So this is the exact opposite. But you can see that, you know, they could both be hourglass shapes, they could both be any kind of shape, they could both be apple, pear, whatever. It's all about the bone structure type, so keep that in mind. And I do have a video called I don't know, something like never dress for your hourglass or something like that, or why you should never dress for your hourglass. And I talk about, you know, how different types can have the same 
shape like an hourglass in that case but they look really good in different lines but still dressing for their hourglass so i'll leave a link down below to that so now let's take a look at the sharpened line recommendations so you can see again i tried to keep in mind you know these are loungewear looks you know these are supposed to be obviously really comfortable and i chose something that has you know one clean line goes all the way all the way down like that so that is going to be pretty flattering we do have a little bit of space to the pants we have a little bit of space you know it's not skin tight but you know you could do something a little bit like for example if the top is skin tight you know that's fine and we have some again clean lines and we also have a low pretty sleek bun in this case and i think that is really going to pull your look together if you are a sharpened type and you feel like what is wrong? Why, why do I look like off all the time or whatever? Try, you know, doing your hair in just a low sleek bun or anything like that. And that's going to really pull your look together because you have those, those long lines, those sleek lines. So having sleek, so having sleek lines to your outfit is going to be really effortless for you. And then also asymmetry is wonderful. And asymmetry is actually wonderful on a sharpened type because asymmetry sort of pulls the eye down and the sharpened type has a lot of visual weight and they have a lot of gravitas to their bone structure so when they wear asymmetry it can create a really dynamic look for their bone structure type if you are uh, a rounded type or a blended type do not wear asymmetry or a mixed type don't wear asymmetry um, but for beveled as well as sharpened this is a really good option so tie things asymmetrically you know if you're a sharpened type tie things asymmetrically have asymmetrical necklines anything like that is going to look really good on you asymmetrical hair is going to look good on you anything like that asymmetry looks good and of course here she doesn't have a v-neck but v-necks will also look good on you geometrics will look good on you so the main focus here is clean lines and long lines so you want to avoid lines that are short like this you know you can see this three-quarter sleeve you know you can see that this sort of cropped effect of of the um the shirt being tied creates a shorter line and also these pants being you know so 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 um fitted here especially at the ankle and cropped at the ankle they also look shorter than these pants that do go a little bit past the ankle you don't have to go all the way to the floor or anything like that with your pant but try to not have your pants show your ankle that is ideal for sharpened so now we have mixed so mixed looks amazing in short broken lines so what does this mean right so we have something like this we have some something pretty tight again very fitted is really good for mixed mixed looks really good with fitted and we also have a pixie cut type thing or a short bob something tousled nothing too glamorous so short hair looks really good on mixed or you could also go anything any hairstyle that has lift to it so for example putting your hair up in a high bun is a good idea for mixed if you have long hair and you don't want to cut it then that works you could also go for um half up half down like brigitte bardot is sort of mixed she's in between mixed and beveled but you know she has those mixed elements to her and she looks really good with a half up half down look so you could do that or you could do a high bun anything with lift is really good and one way uh, the easiest way to have lift of course is having short hair so so short hair looks really good on mixed looks good every time and high necklines look really good on mixed as well as short lines and fittedness so that's what we have here and you can see the short line but you could see the difference in the short lines right between this lady here and rounded rounded has soft short lines and mixed has really sort of distinct clean short lines so that's what you're looking for when you're thinking about dressing for your mixed lines so beveled looks great with asymmetry beveled looks great with tousled hair so this is really a walk in the park for beveled when it comes to casual looks beveled looks really put together in casual looks 
I actually get a lot of comments about, well, look, you know, I'm beveled and I don't want to look casual all the time. Let me tell you, if you're beveled, it's actually the opposite for you. You almost never look casual. You don't look casual because on you, things look really dressed up. But when you wear things that are casual, they look just right. Do you see? So actually, it's blended that has a hard time looking like, so for example, let's say something really, really like oversized, something like this, you know, this is what beveled would look like wearing something like this. And this is, this doesn't look as casual as if, you know, if blended were to wear it. If blended wears the same look. You can see that blended, you know, looks really like she just rolled out of bed. You know, she looks like she's a teenager who rolled out of bed and she's like, I'm, I have a teenage son, I'm the opposite of a teenager, I don't want to look like a teenager who rolled out of bed, that's the opposite of me, so I don't want to look like that or something. I'm just making up stories about my drawings, but the point is, is that you can see she is not beveled, so she looks like she is really, really, really casual, you know? And beveled, on the other hand, is going to look like they are not as casual in the same look. So tousled hair looks really good on beveled, we also have a little bit more width to the silhouette, especially to the pants in this case. You know, you don't have to wear wide, you know, oversized things head to toe, although you certainly could if you're beveled. But, you know, you can incorporate something that's a bit more form-fitting, but try to include some longer lines and, you know, the length of this line is really important. You can see that everything creates a long line, right? The sleeve is long, the pants go all the way to the floor and they're long. We have the tie or the belt or whatever that is long and hanging down and we have the hair that's a little bit longer too so everything's creating those longer lines going with the longer bones of the body and we also have some width to the bones right we have a little bit of width to the shoulders we have a little bit of width to the angles because you can imagine if you have a sharp angle right and then you make it wider it becomes a blunted angle right or a beveled angle so we also have width to the angles of beveled so that's why beveled also has some width to the silhouette this time i put some width there in the pants and you know just adding in some elements of width to the silhouette is important but do keep an eye out if you're beveled for things that are oversized but they're short because the first thing that you keep in mind as beveled is not that you your silhouette is wide or that your items are oversized the first thing you keep in mind as beveled is that your lines are long first and foremost before anything else your lines are long so if anything is short like a short um oversized sweater or something it's going to look kind of poofy on you and really quite separate because the main thing about your lines is that they are long and then as a second priority your lines are also oversized so because you can see how how this look really you know you could say to yourself well Miriam you can say to me Miriam this looks really similar this looks really similar to sharpened this looks really similar to sharpened and this look is you know really similar why is this so why is um you know, the, the beveled looks so profoundly different. You can see that when beveled wears sharpened, you can see how actually extremely put together, kind of almost serious and really not casual, beveled looks in sharpened lines. And that's the effect when beveled wears other lines, is they can look like they are really sort of dressed up. So if you're beveled, you actually don't have any problems looking like you're dressed down you look like you are dressed up most of the time because a lot of things look very dressed up on you and not really that casual. So you can see that when beveled where it's sharpened, it looks a little bit like a, like a Kim Kardashian type look, right? Where it's like, it looks very much, um, you know, like casual glam, I guess, or something. And, you know, that's definitely like, that's good to know if you're beveled and you want to go for that look, then that's I mean, I think that look is, is great. You could definitely do that because the thing is, is that as beveled, you share a lot of similarities with sharpened because you do have the length to your lines and that's your priority. So you can definitely wear some elements of sharpened or you could wear even an entire look in sharpened lines and you're going to be fine, you know, because you do have that similarity of the length of the lines with sharpened. So this is what happens when beveled wears sharpened. But of course, the two differences are the added width. We've added width to the hair. You can see that the hair is wider now for beveled and we've also added width to the pants.
So we've added just a little bit more width to that sharpened silhouette, but it's basically still the same thing. And some of the folds in the pants, you know, with the oversized folds in the pants are going to add some of those beveled shapes to echo the, the beveled angles of the bone structure as well. Finally, we have blended last but not least. And a lot of the time I'm told, you know, it's really difficult to find casual looks as a blended type. And I agree because oftentimes blended types try to go for, you know, something casual, right? And they look like they just rolled out of bed. They feel like they have a really hard time looking put together, so to speak, or looking chic or something um, if they don't really put in a ton of effort. And I think that this really comes down to, again, the lines. It's not that blended even has to put in more effort than other types because even to get your hair to look you know tousled in a certain way or to get you you know to get just that right you know fit that's oversized and whatever you know every single type has their difficulties in terms of finding things that fit just right finding things that look just right and i don't think blended is you know more difficult than the other types but it is it feels more difficult because blended actually it, the lines are almost described by what they're not so and and in a time where statement silhouettes are everything it's very difficult for blended to actually find things for you know just simple simple things with simple lines that are really going to bring out their beauty you can see that for blended to look put together in a casual look blended really has to focus on you know a moderate fit smooth lines and symmetry and you know not that many folds not a statement geometric silhouette not a statement oversized silhouette not a frilly thing you know just everything's in the middle right because the blended bone structure is in the middle and so blended looks amazing in anything that has you know just very clean moderate lines not too short not too long not too angular not too rounded and, and soft just everything in the middle and also symmetry you can see you know uh again symmetrical low bun and then you can see here the tie is also symmetrical and the length of the pants is moderate and the um you know it doesn't go all the way to the floor like it did with with beveled but at the same time it's also just yeah everything is just in the middle so that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed this video leave some comments down below leave some questions as usual and if you are still confused about your body geometry type i do offer consults through my website both body typing and color consults through my website and i will leave a link to those down below and we also have exclusive content on Miriam Style Club, so I'll leave a link down below on how you can join. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this, and I will talk to you guys next time. Okay, bye.